Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 76. It has been a while. I'm going to kick off the episode with a Grador task that I'd forgotten I'd had. 35 kills, can we get any rare drops? Well, I was not expecting to get those. Bandos Tacits on kill 44. So in just 44 kills, I have had both the chest plate and the Tacits. That is ridiculous luck. All right, that is the boss task complete. I quite enjoy this mage method, I have to say. Um, it's pretty chilled out, and especially on tasks with the Slayer Helm, hitting the freezes a little bit more accurately. Um, that Tasset's drop, obviously, um, coming in pretty strong. It's quite timely as well. I'd like to do some Slayer this episode. Um, I've got just over a thousand points, but I do want to unlock the ability to create the Slayer Helm with the Twisted Horns that I got from the League. Um, but obviously I need to save some points for eventual skips as well so do some tasks and build up a, a stack of points and then hopefully unlock that. Trident of the Seas drop that is always nice to see but basically just for the death runes um, I think that may be my fourth or my fifth one that I've had overall. Wow another jar of dirt I really cannot remember how many of these I've had overall I have a feeling that is my seventh one um, I think there are one in 1k drops, so that is some pretty weird luck on jar drops. Picked up an elite clue from Kraken, what can we get? Ooh, master clue. I will go and attempt to do that. Alright, managed to complete the master clue, can we get anything good? Nah, that's a pretty standard master clue reward to be honest. Hey, that is 96 woodcutting. I was having a think about uh, what my skilling goals for the rest of the year are and I think something like this which is a pretty AFK skill would be reasonable to go for 99 in. Um, but I haven't really thought too much about what other goals I'm setting myself for the rest of the year to be perfectly honest. Hey, picking up a God Sword Shard 1 off a minion here at Armadil. I've got a pretty chunky task. Uh, it was originally 240 down to 200 left to go. Probably going to get a hunter level from hunting the rest of the chins that I need as well. Hoping for either the helmet or the chain skirt. Oh, another shard. That is nice to see. I think that might be another blade complete. I can't quite remember if I've got lots of the shard 3s or the shard 2s. But uh, yeah, nice first drop of this trip. Oh, another one. I do have a feeling that I've got a lot of these in the bank. But I'm not 100% sure. I will check at the end of this trip. Oh no, I didn't have any shard 3s, so that will be my fourth blade complete, which is quite nice. Hopefully we'll have all of the hilts at some point in the future. Oh man, that is unfortunate. My second armor piece, and it is a duplicate. So still hunting for the plate skirt and the helmet as well. All right, this will be the end of the task, my very last minion that I just need to finish off. Picking up the chest plate, of course. Bit of a shame that wasn't a unique, but as far as duplicates go, it's worth 40 mil, so I shan't complain too much. Well, that is another jar of dirt. I've actually lost count of how many of these I've got. It may be my eighth. Can't remember, I've got one in my house, and I've got a feeling the last one I got this episode was the seventh one in the bank. Getting a lot of Kraken tasks this episode. That's another full trident, which is very handy for the death runes. I am just one Kraken tentacle away from being able to upgrade a trident. Uh, and I can't remember exactly how many charges the upgraded version holds. I think it might be 20,000 or so. Um, it's not really a necessary upgrade, but it'd be cool to get. Um, I do like doing these tasks for the Sandfew serums and other supplies. It's pretty chilled out. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really I'm looking for other than that last Kraken tentacle. Another woodcutting level, that is 97, two left to go. Two clues from woodcutting, a medium and an elite. Can we get anything good? Ooh, I should go and try this master clue before I open the elite then. All right, let's try that again. Rubbish. And another master clue, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can do this one as well. All right, and here is the second master. What a load of rubbish again. I got a task of Greater Demon, so I'm going to head back to Zami God Wars for a little bit. The only item I still need from there is the hilt to make the Zamorak God Sword, which is a item requirement for master clues, which is uh, why I'm going back. Since they released the boss high scores, I've actually realized I'm rank 56 uh, Iron Man kills for the Zamorak boss which is pretty insane, so I'm just over 1300 kills there. Um, could potentially get up to 1400 kills 
this task. If I didn't get the hilt, I don't know if I'll do the entire task there. May just end up doing like 50 kills or so. But it uh, would be nice to finish off the Zami God Wars items. Picked up a couple of clues from Zami God Wars. Can we get anything good? No? Ooh, bronze dragon mask. Don't think I've got one of those. And a master clue which I will attempt to complete. So I don't actually have a couple of these items. The Brine Saber I'm going to have to go and pick up from Brine Rats. I can't quite remember what the drop rate is. I think it's 1 in 512 and I've killed around 300 overall on this account. So hopefully that won't take too long. And this Tazar thing I will just have to go and purchase from the store. Maybe sell some Chaos Runes. That won't be too tricky. Hey, there we go. That is the Brine Saber. I think I was just over double the drop rate for that. But these things are so killed to quick. Um, that didn't really take too long at all, so we'll go and pick up the Tazar shield and hopefully finish the rest of the master clue. Alright, managed to complete the master clue, what can we get? Greater Demon Mask, not sure that I've had that before, otherwise a fairly standard reward. Alright, this is going to be the task complete. I ended up on 1367 Krill kills, so I did just over half the task there. No drops, but I didn't really fancy doing the whole thing. Um, may end up going back again this episode, we'll see. My recording messed up, but I just picked up my second Dehyde Shield from a hard clue. I actually can't remember if I've got one of these ones already. I think it might be a Guthix one that I've got, but um, yeah, that's kind of cool to see. They're pretty rare. Picked up an Elite Clue from Woodcutting. What can we get? Another Master. Doing lots of these this episode. Master complete. What can we get? Nah. 500k reward, that's not too bad. Alright, so I'm sitting at 1300 points. I feel like 300 is more than enough to be getting on with Slayer, so I'm going to unlock the Twisted Vision perk so that I can combine my Twisted Horns with the Slayer Helm. Let's see... Ooh, let's see how that looks. That is pretty cool. I think that's going to match well with Armadil, so probably use it for range tasks. I picked up another armadillo task and I think I'm going to try a non-chinning method just to see if it is feasible with my stats and gear. Basically what it relies on is barraging the melee minion and then moving away from it so you're only taking damage from the mage. So this is what I'm running in with. I don't really know if it's going to be worth using dragon bolts here but I figured I would just give it a try and it gives me a good excuse to go back to Vorkath which I want to do for pre XP at some point anyway. So we'll see how this shapes up compared to the chinning method. All right, at the end of the first trip, I finished on eight boss kills, which isn't terrible, but I'd like to be getting consistently above 10. Um, I don't really think it's worth doing this method unless I'm, I'm reaching that. I'm gonna bring an imbued heart and possibly a Aram's top switch so that I'm hitting the freezes a bit more consistently. And the imbued heart should hopefully mean I'm getting hit less by the major. And um, yeah, I definitely think having the uh, Dragon Bolts is worth it because Kree has got such high defense that uh, I don't think Addy would cut it. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with another trip with slightly different gear. Hopefully it will be an improvement. All right, well, the second trip was pretty much exactly the same. Eight kills. The Imbued Heart, I think because I'm using Bruise to heal, that's not been as effective as I would have thought. Um, Really not sure about this method. I think I might just go back to chinning, even though there's extra time involved there in catching them. Seems uh, a lot more consistent and uh, obviously better kills per trip. Picked up an elite clue from woodcutting. What can we get? Another master clue. Let's see if we can do this one. Lots of master clues done this episode. What can we get from this one? Yeah, pretty average reward. Hunter level coming in. That is 96. Three left to go until 99. All right, finished the last few kills outside of the boss room. Ended up on 427 Kree kills overall. Shame not to uh, get any more uniques, but the hunt for those last two items continues. Always nice to get a boss task from Duradel Vorkath. I am going to kill 35 and see if I can get anything good. Vorkath dropped an elite clue. What can we get? Whole lot of nothing. Closing in on 100 elite clues done though. And that is the Vorkath task complete. I do quite enjoy doing this method with the Dragon Hunter Lance. Even if I don't hit any of my Warhammer specs, I usually get under two minute kills quite comfortably. And if I hit one spec, usually under 130. So it's pretty consistent. And uh, yeah, I got a couple hundred Dragon Bolts, which is what I was looking for. And of course the uh, bones for Prey XP. And that is 98 wood cutting. So just one left to go now. 
And that is it for today's episode guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching, obviously it's been a while since I've had an Iron Man progress video up on the channel, so really good to get this one out, and nice to uh, kick things off with a really rare drop being the Tacits. Next episode, definitely going to go for 99 woodcutting, and I'd like to reach 2200 total level as well, so until then, take care.